Good day, folks. Today in the bench, I'm going to tie you up the Chromie. I believe was created by Phil Rowley again, another very good fly tire. Phil's designed a lot of really good flies, and this is definitely one of them. I'm just going to show you some other materials that I've used on it. Uh, what I like and how I like to tie this fly. But it uh, goes without being said, it is a, a very, very uh, good producing fly. So. Have the, these materials ready. I'm going to use a size 12 continuous curve. It's a 1x short. You can go to a 14 if you like. On that, um, the body, I'm going to use some flashaboo. This is kind of an opal, silver opal flashaboo. Really bright, like chrome on your bumper of your car. It's so bright. The rib, instead of wire, I'm going to use a vinyl rib. It's a midge size. UTC builds this vinyl rib and it's a translucent so it actually shows through that silver. It picks it up really nice in the water. The gills I'm going to use some Antron and the wing case I'm going to just use some golden pheasant for the wing case. You can use regular pheasant tail whatever you have. Okay so let's get a hook in the vise and wrap up when you get a little chromies. I should love these chromies. Okay, and thread, I'm just going to use some 8 dot black flat thread here. Okay. Now to start with, I'm going to get my uh, red vinyl rib on here. I'm going to get it lashed down good and tight. And it's going to get pulled super tight down the shank to keep it thin. Down to the bend. Now I'm going to grab what three or so turns or I'm sorry strands of this flashaboo very bright silver and it wraps so much neater than the uh, mylar. It's a lot easier to get a thinner body with it. That's why I use these flashaboos a lot. 8 dot thread, I'll take that forward. And I'm just going to use my rotary vise here, get myself my body turning that. No, I think I've got a little black showing down the back there. Just want to make sure it's covered now. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it. I want to make sure that whole shank was covered. I can taper this up a little bit here now. Flash blue, it's very, very bright. A lot brighter than the uh, mylar. The silver mylar, I believe, is what was tied with originally. But you know, these materials keep evolving and there's always new stuff out there. We can keep tricking it out. I'm sure Phil ties it a little different than he did when he started this fly years ago. I'm just going to come forward now. I'm just going to hand twist and get some nice even hand wrap this up and get some nice spirals. But this uh, vinyl rib, I really like it. It's translucent and in, it just shows through. You have to see it in the water really get the, the full effect of it. Then I'm going to come in here with some some golden pheasant. And just get a few strands there from my wing case. And that's a nice coloration there too. Tie it down right at the thorax. Pupa stage, so I want them pupas up top, of course, so we want to make sure that it's got the the uh, gills wing case. That's what belongs up there, so let's try to get it to match. Take our Antron. Tie up the front. There we go. And I forgot one of the best materials. I forgot it on my materials list for you is peacock curl. I'm going to take a strand of that for the thorax. That turns a nice bronze color too. It really does a nice job for the thorax. It's going to get it tied in. Take my thread to the tie off position. I'm going to measure that kind of where I want it. And I'm just going to wrap P 
peacock hurl, little thorax, tie that off. Okay, and then I'm just bringing my golden pheasant over the top, bring my wing case, tie that down, trim that off. I think I've seen Brian Chan do that years ago. That's a really nice way of finishing these flies off at the front. I know Brian gave me some flies years ago and they have her done that way. I really like that. There's a, and then I'm just going to trim these gills off nice and short. There you go. A little chromey. Looks really good. And uh, you want to make sure you have lots of these on the water because the fish love chromies. And uh, just wanted to show you some of the other materials, not that anything new, basically doing what's kind of come before us. I just uh, wanted to show you how I tricked it out with some of those other materials. So good luck with that and thanks to Phil Rowley for a good pattern and uh, Brian Chan for the thorax. Nothing to do with my creation at all. I just uh, wanted to show that to you and how I tie it and uh, some of you newcomers maybe that uh, haven't seen that done. We'll see that on our on our YouTube channel or online sports fishing on the fly. And uh, hope to see you on the water. Have a good day. To watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.